Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so excited guys that I am just a few subscribers away from reaching my 1000 subscriber goal. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please consider hitting subscribe and joining my YouTube family. It has been amazing watching the growth of my channel and I have all of you to thank for that. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I do have two giveaway winners for my 900 subscriber giveaway in a video that I posted on Monday. So I have one of them that has reached out, the other person has not. So if you haven't watched that giveaway winner video yet, go check it out, see if you are my second winner. And if I don't hear from them, I will be redrawing that later on today. So um, I gave the winners 48 hours and that ends today on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Colorado Mountain Time, or I guess Standard Mountain Time, Colorado Time. So if you haven't watched that already, go see if you are my second winner. Um, I changed locations. Here is my other Christmas tree. It is a white and colorful tree. I love it. We do our sentimental ornaments on this tree. And um, like, you know, I do yearly ornaments that I give to the kids each year. And sometimes I do one for my husband. And sometimes we do family family ornaments. And so all the things. And so that's this tree. It's in our living room where we spend most of our time. Family room, living room. I always get those confused. I have the front room, which is like my office. So it's front room office. This is the living room, family room, the one where we spend most of our time. My TV is just right here. Um, and so I just, you know, decided to change locations. I have this kind of gallery wall of um, signs. I'll do a home tour here soon. I'm not done decorating. I'm obviously very behind in my halls. You haven't seen one in a little bit because I have been crafting like crazy. I have been decorating. Um, I need to wrap Christmas gifts. Like life is crazy. It's just so, so busy. But I need to show you the stuff so I can use the stuff. And so that's why I'm here. So I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys and some happy mail to show. And um, Christmas cards to say thank you for. So I was so excited yesterday to go to the post office and just find that there was a bunch of Christmas cards in there for me. So thank you guys. If I told you I'm sending you a Christmas card, still happening. I organized addresses on a spreadsheet and now I just need to fill them out. Oh, and I bought stamps because I needed to buy stamps. And so I'm working on them, I promise. Like it's been in process. I just haven't gotten them all done and mailed out. But by the end of the week, and it's Wednesday, so I'm running out of time. But by the end of the week, those are gonna be in the mail. All right, let's get started on my Dollar Tree haul. So first of all, in my thumbnail, you saw this bag. This is literally a bag of socks, a bag of socks. So I have these, which are men's athletic socks. And I have, and I think I have four packs of these. And then I also have in here the full cushion kid socks size one to seven and so i want to say that i have these for a good cause like i'm donating them which i should do that because homeless shelters are always looking for socks but i we are donating them they are going to my son's my youngest son's school they are doing um sock snowmen as a project before they head out for christmas break and so we picked up all those socks to donate to his class so that there's enough socks to go around for everyone to make a sock snowman and so my husband's going to be taking those tomorrow we also went to costco and he picked up a 25 pound bag of rice because they fill the socks with rice and so hopefully they said they had all the embellishments and everything they just needed socks and rice and so that is 48 socks 28 pairs of socks so hopefully that's enough I also have to note, this is my dog's bed. If they end up over here, it's because they are just like, I have the door open for them so they can go in and out or they might end up there. But also for my Dollar Tree haul, I found more of these. So I've already hauled two. Those ones were for my best friend. And I thought like she had the best idea to do these for her Christmas Eve boxes. And I'm like, why, why do I not think of these things? And so I'm going to do um, cricket names on them. So all three of the kiddos are going to have their names. And then I'm going to store them away each year. And this is going to be their Christmas Eve box. Again, I don't do them on Christmas Eve. This year we're actually doing them on Saturday the 11th because we are going to go look at Christmas lights. There's something called Christmas in Color. Several different states have the Christmas in Color, but it's just like this big light display that they take up. Like ours is Bandamere Speedway. It's one of our race tracks, or they have it at Waterworld, which is our big water park. And um, But they have a big parking lot. 
And so they just like create this big light show. I can't wait. We tried to go last year, but the wind stopped us. And so we weren't able to actually see it. So long story short, we're going to put on our Christmas jammies. So I'm going to give them their Christmas Eve boxes with their Christmas jammies on Saturday and their little mugs and cups for drinks. So we can do hot chocolate and Christmas lights and drive around and look at Christmas lights on Saturday. So, whoo. That's what these are for. So I know you've seen them once before. My best friend's going to do it for her kids. I thought that was an amazing idea, so I stole it from her because I found three more of them. I picked up some gift wrap. This one just says Merry Christmas to you in a bunch of fun colors like stripes. And because this tree holds most of our gifts, I thought that this would be cute under this Christmas tree because it just matches the bright, fun, colorful Christmas. I do have a bunch of wraps already under my house. Well, now it's in the basement because we've been pulling everything out from our crawl space. But I liked that one to add to the selection of wrapping paper. I picked up some more gift bags because I just love their gift bags. This one says sparkle all the way and the sparkle is actually sparkly. And then um, the other side, it's not embellished at all, no sparkles and the inside has little snowflakes. And then the second bag doesn't have any sparkle or anything and it says wishing, wishing you a joy and cheer in red. And these are like spark or uh, more shiny bags. They got kind of the red stars and white on the inside. And so I thought that was a cute set of bags. I was thinking about putting this one on my wall. I have a plain wall in this room I need to find something for, and I'm trying to find it that will match this stuff. And so I was thinking about some bags and just framing bags like I did in the front room with some of my stuff. And so I had those, and I picked this one up possibly for that too. But now that it's in oh, no, I think this will match in here really good. It says, oh, what fun. But I didn't find the big frames, and I don't know if the big frames are big enough actually for this. So I haven't quite decided if I just cut it out, if I think it'll look okay without a frame, or what to do. So I got this possibly to put on the wall. If not, I'll use it for a gift because I really like it, how cute that one is with like the O being the ornament and the lights. So I thought that was really cute, so that it might either be decor or just a gift bag. This one too. So I'm doing my bathroom in candy canes and red and white and I mean this has a touch of green but everything kind of will. Um, watch my Christmas tree collab. My Christmas tree is in peppermint themed and so that's kind of what sparked the peppermint theme for the bathroom. It, we have a bathroom right off of our kitchen and so I want to decorate that one a little bit for you know the holidays. And so this one says Santa's hand rolled candy canes, hand holiday candy and sweet treats. The North Pole candy shop. And I just thought, oh, there's, there's a pup. Um, I just thought that this was so cute to possibly cut and hang on the wall. And I also got wrapping paper. I'm going to wrap the art that's already in there. But I could also take something down and put that up in its place. I got this one probably for a gift for my daughter because I thought it was really cute. It says Magical Christmas. And it's got Santa on a unicorn. And the unicorn is glittery on the one side. So I thought that was too cute. The inside is like candy cane striped. The tag is also candy cane striped. Same as the other side, but no glitter. And I just thought that that was perfect for my daughter. So I picked it up. And then I've been picking up some stuff for the pups. And so I got this gift bag to put the pups presents in. It says, here comes Santa Paws. The car is glittery and it kind of pops out, if you can see that. And it's got a little trailer of gifts, which is super cute. The inside is green kind of stars. Oh, I thought this one was really cute. And again, it's the same on the other side, just not the pop-out embellishments or um, the glitter. And that's for the, some of the puppies' gifts. Let's see. So I am going to start showing my happy mail because we are already nine minutes in, give or take. And I get a lot of happy mail. So first I want to say thank you to all the um, Christmas cards. So I was not, I wasn't expecting them. And so thank you all for and anyone that sent me a Christmas card. So this is from Jackie in Florida. And this is a beautiful card. It's got the red truck that kind of sticks out a little bit like on that gift bag. So super cute card from Jackie. If you're already on my list to get the cards, I'm gonna get them to you. If you weren't on my list yet, you are now because now I have your address. So I'm gonna send you a Christmas card in return. This is from Jamie. You reached out to me on Instagram and I appreciate you so much. It's a really beautiful card. 
and they all have really pretty and sentimental I love the notes in them but I'm not going to um, read them because you know they're to me and all that this beautiful card is from Melanie I do have your address you're on my list to get you a card and this card is beautiful it says wishing you peace and joy at Christmas time I love the little village on it I can't wait to hang these on my wall I love to use cards as some of the decor and I mean I've mentioned it already before that we just get less and less cards each year so it's just not as impactful when you hang them and now I have a whole bunch to hang so it makes me so happy I absolutely love this card because I picked it up myself this is from Teresa and Teresa I was so excited that you live in Colorado and you don't even live far from me in Colorado so um, I don't know that just made my day when I saw your return address on this one I did read that you my or my address is obviously Commerce City you can see it in my description box below but um, you kind of grew up in the area and that just really it made me excited that you were from Colorado and this card is so beautiful there's glitter I don't know if that picks up on there this is from Deanna thank you so much what a beautiful card it says believe in the magic of Christmas which is one of my absolute favorite sayings in the Christmas time is the believe in the magic of Christmas because I am all for Christmas magic keeping the Christmas magic for the kids and all of that so I love Christmas magic all right so I have this big old box this is from my sister and it was addressed to myself how did she word it it was to Amber and family there was a card I opened that up to make it easier and this one is also so pretty the trees stick out and they have sparkle on them such a pretty card this is all is calm and bright can't wait to get that up on the wall and the stuff she sent I know it's a lot of it's from Dollar Tree it's not all from Dollar Tree though and I don't know where do you get your stuff like where is this from some of the stuff I'll start with this because I know that this is not a Dollar Tree but sorry rustling things out of here how cute are these so we use tongs all the time because I use an air fryer and it's like an oven shaped kind of air fryer and I use tongs all the time to get the stuff out of there <gasps> these are so cute I can't wait to put these in the kitchen so she got me these cute little mitten tongs where are these from like I love these so cute she sent a couple of light up spinners the kids um I opened the box I kind of like snuck a peek but I didn't like get it in there and they were trying to peek too because I said it's too family so we can get in there too and so I don't know who has dibs yet but someone's gonna get these I'm sure super fun bright LED light were these Dollar Tree I don't know if I have seen these at Dollar Tree or not she added in this really cute waffle pen the waffle is squishy super cute I know those are from Dollar Tree because I always eyeball them I love them we have Barton's caramel peanut butter crisp cl clusters to be honest I didn't think these were from Dollar Tree until I was there last night and I saw them so these are Dollar Tree I'm excited to give them a try probably put them on the hot cocoa station for a little treat and I have not picked up any of these she sent three of the tippies from the Snoopy line so we have that's is that Lucy no peppermint patty that's peppermint patty I don't got all my characters names of course we got Snoopy and this one's Lucy and Lucy growing up my favorite was Linus I actually had a little Linus stuffy I guess that was like a little plush he had a hard head but um, he sucked his thumb and had a little blankie attached to him and that was my favorite um, I guess stuffy growing up my mom has told me about it this of course will go to Lorelai and she's going to absolutely love it it is a little fox little backpack keychain thing and she loves loves stuff like this like loves it so she is going to be super excited for that um I got some flamingo Christmas socks it says jingle and flamingo oh my gosh how cute and you got the flamingo with the Santa hat these are perfect under my Ugg boots so thank you thank you and these I was so excited for this I'm doing the gingerbread kitchen this I haven't seen this this looks like it's from a uh, Dollar General right that's a Dollar General tag and only a dollar for this too how cute little oven mitt so cute the door fell off of this one 
So I have, I'm going to hot glue it. I have all my crafting stuff out actually in front of me because I've been crafting like crazy. This is Dollar General. How cute is this? And look how perfect it's going to match this tree. This says Merry and Bright. It's one of the other sayings I really like. And I like baby, it's cold outside. So cute. That is such a cute ornament. I haven't seen that one. It's one I'd probably pick up because it matches this tree perfectly. We got a little gingy tin. So cute. I love these for the kitchen. Um, this, some vanilla hand scrub. So it looks like a sugar scrub or a salt scrub. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. And your hands, this time of year, I don't know where you live, it gets really dry in Colorado, and then we have the heater running. And so it's so nice to have something to like help your hands feel, you know, nice and smooth more sorry the box is right there in front of me this little tool keep handy for any unexpected situation it says features 18 ways to use six wrenches four screwdrivers two rulers a mobile phone stand a bottle opener a can opener a letter opener a box cutter and a fruit peeler all in one so an 18 and one multi card multi tool pocket card how neat and kind of scary all at the same time. I feel like I need a protective cover for it. Otherwise, like, I would hurt myself. Super cool. And lastly in here, this is adorable. Girls just want to have fun. I don't know if you can read the yellow if it's too bright looking on there. There we go. Girls just want to have fun. Ugh. And it's got um, the brighter pink and the polka dots on the side. She packed it in a box. All right, Kenna, I have stuff for you. I might steal your box and send it in your box because I haven't been able to get a box big enough to put all this stuff in. So that was for my sister, Kenna. Thank you so much. And then I have one more big old box of Happy Mail. I opened it. I peeked in there, but you wrapped everything up so I couldn't even cheat. So this is from Melinda, one of my subbies. Thank you so, so much. This was quite a surprise. I had no idea, like none, that that was going to be in there. And she also sent a beautiful Christmas card. I love this one. It matches this room perfectly with all the bright colors. It says, tis the season to be jolly. Love it. Love that card. I can't wait to start hanging up all the cards. That makes me so happy. Um, and then the card, she did a little note about gingerbread stuff. And so just peeking in, I do see gingerbread stuff. Oh my gosh, look how cute these treat bags are. I don't think I've seen these ones in my stores. How cute are those let's see if it's not wrapped this is not wrapped the mug I got the matching tray the platter tray thing just the other day and so they are gonna look so good together this is gonna obviously go on the hot cocoa bar or the tear tray so I have a tear tray on my table and a hot cocoa bar that's gonna have a tear tray so it'll go with one of those so cute so it's the little red truck and the camper to go with the little village set. I did paint those black and white. They came out so nice and I have them set out on the trays. Again, when I do my home tour, I'm going to show them to you guys. But that'll look cute. I don't have the truck or the camper to go alongside it. And so that'll be cute with that. <gasps> Yay, this one's dripping. Yay! I never found the white ones. I only found the red and the green. I still, and I've been searching every time I go for the white little pom-poms. Ah, yay, thank you so much. I had ideas for these and now I have to remember what they were because I gave up hope even though I still always looked. I kind of gave up hope. Yay! Thank you. Oh, there's another mug. Oh, this one's so cute too. So it says sweet Christmas wishes. Are these the ones that came out of the box? I don't know if I've seen these ones. Oh, that's so cute with the little gingerbread house. Oh, I love it. So cute. Oh, there's more in there. <gasps> Look at the earrings. So there's Santa, says Merry Christmas. So cute. Now I have to wear something red or pink to match those. Super cute. Oh, I think we got a tin. Yep. Oh, I love this one too. Sweet Christmas wishes. I picked up some tins, but I don't think it was this one. I don't think I have this one. And if... I'm doing all the um, top parts of my cabinets. I'm decorating all those. So there is plenty of spaces to put stuff. 
Oh, that one is so cute. There's more. This one's all wrapped and even taped. Oh my gosh, how cute! Ah, that's so cute! It is a hot cocoa mug with an A. Oh my gosh, thank you! Oh, that's from at home. I haven't been there. I went there at the beginning of the season. I haven't been there since, though. I love that. That is going to be perfect in the hot cocoa bar. All right. We have the big bin. I haven't picked that up. I love that. Perfect. I mean, I'm going to try to bake. I'm not much of a baker, but we do Santa cookies. And sometimes, you know, they're just like the pop in the oven kind. But hey, you found me this stuff. So I was telling myself, well, I don't need to make a wreath, but now I need to make a wreath. Did I see another one in there too? Yeah. Sorry, guys. So now I have enough to make a wreath. So I guess I have to. What else do you do with this? If it's not for wreath making, is there anything else that you can do with this? Leave me a comment below. Let me know because I just see it and I picture wreaths. But if there's other ideas, I would love other ideas too. And there is another thing wrapped. Thank you so much, Melinda. Oh, this one's adorable. Another tin with the gingies. Oh my gosh, that one is really cute. And it's got the houses on the side. I don't know if I've seen this one. And it's got kind of the swoopy top. Yeah, because it's got the hinge. That's really cute. And then I think there is one more container. Oh, my oh this one has the cute lids. What's that? Oh, no, this container got cracked. That one has a crack in it from the probably from the um shipment but you know what that can hold my craft stuff okay i have craft stuff all over the place and i am like looking for baskets and trying to find places to put it and where to store it so that'll actually be great to hold like all my paints and stuff because i have all the puffy paints there is a star ornament in there too that'll be adorable maybe on the tear tray maybe on this tree oh i don't know so many ideas and then th thank you three of these ones with the ginger. Oh, I love the lid to these. Oh, they have different ones. <gasps> There's a pumpkin one, too. There's the pumpkin lid. I never got these. Happy fall wishes. Oh, that is awesome. Are both of these... These ones look different, too. <gasps> They're even different ones. Baking spirits. Bright. Oh, my gosh. That one is so cute. And then that one says comfort and joy. Oh, Oh my gosh these are so cute yeah so if I don't use them for baking they're gonna hold crafting stuff and the one that got craft I'll probably put some tape on it and like let that hold some of my crafting stuff because it is everywhere right now and it'll be nice just to have a spot to put it oh thank you so much so that is my happy mail thank you Melinda thank you Kenna thank you everyone that sent me Christmas cards I will be getting mine in the mail by the end of the week because I need to because this month is already flying by um, I will have another Dollar Tree haul coming up shortly. You're going to see the same background because I am going to record it now for Friday because this week is just so busy that sometimes you just need to get stuff done when you can. Um, I don't know if I'll be in the same shirt. I might change my shirt just to make it appear like, you know, it's a different day. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I am right there. I am on the cusp of a thousand subscribers. If you're new here, I know I just got a ton of subscribers from the collab. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys for jumping on board. I hope you like the videos more than just the Christmas tree decorating. Um, and please leave those comments down below. I love having those conversations. I was behind, but I caught up. Thank goodness. Um, some of you just got emojis. I'm sorry. I was really far behind, but um, I am now on top of it. I hope not to get so far behind. Christmas season, it's just so busy, but I will see you guys all next time. All right. See you on Friday. Bye.